and welcome to the Hairy Wanderer. I'm here with Dad Vic, Merlin, Lila, Young Buddy. And this week we're starting off at Bogle Bridge, just up by Butlins here. Let's head down to the Fox Pub. So, going to do a quick shot about William Blake, who wrote uh, Jerusalem, painted a lot of fancy colours and lots of other poetry. So, uh, yeah. Let's wander. Past Butlins, see over there. Look at this place, there's a little cafe called the Lobster Pot up here. Over there on the markers for the breakers, there's some cormorants. Well, it's one over there drying its wings out. So we can quickly zoom in on that. Fishing for that day. Dive down, swallow the fish hole. Most chip enjoying the bicycle on the time. Signposts. Ah, perfect. Look at that look. William Blake Trail. Yeah, if we just head off the beach, we're actually in Blake's Road. Wonder who lives here. So you can just about make it out on the horizon there. See the thatched roof. Okay. So here we are, this is William Blake's cottage. Artist, poet and mystic lived here 1800 to 1805. There is actually a channel if you go online where you can actually see it virtually. Do a virtual tour. So we're now heading up to Fox Inn where William Blake actually got arrested out the front of here for uh, and set to with some, some, some troops. That's the old rectory. That's interesting as well, actually. Just off of the beach. Just past past the train carriages, isn't it, I think? Yeah. Yeah, just past the train carriage houses. There's a plaque. Well, you can read it here. It tells you all about what happened. Okay, so we're just heading down into Longbrook Park. Just over there, there's an inlet for the River Arran, kind of sea. I think it's the Arran. And you can just about see some of those... Uh, Train carriage houses. I always wanted to look what see what was inside one of them. They look really fascinating. What kind of place? <laughs> I could live in an old train carriage. Oh, like a hobo. I could do that. Some of these amazing sort of trees. I thought these are 
like a hollyhock tree thing. I've got one in my garden, which I brought from Sussex. Well, I used to live around here. Up the Regis and District Seeker Dutch Court. Over here we have the world famous Butlins. It's brand new swimming pool area with new slides. We're going to continue around here. There's a little park around this little hidden, hidden bog in the gym. <laughs> They're just coming out of Feltham. There's a little river down here. As you will see in a minute. And it's a particularly funny colour today. Very green. In the sea is an unusual colour of green today as well. Which usually means for good fishing. Not with the sea. Plenty of colour in the water. Usually means when you go fishing. Because, yeah, right. It's a Longbrook Park. So it's down here by these rocks which are here to replace the old style wooden breakers that obviously rot away over the years. They don't really hold as much life as the wooden ones. The wooden ones you get mussels and seaweed and all sorts of things. The only thing you get them here is limpets. As you can see, most of the limpets are barnacles. Might find a winkle. Don't watch out you don't get your winkle picked down at the bottom of the beach. Very interesting little things though. Here and there. Sometimes come down here at night with a torch and shine them in here, you'll see little shrimps and fish. It'd be quite interesting. That just sounds like quite interesting here, actually. There's a lot of life here, look at this. Stuck to the rock. It's like some sort of oyster shell. I like oysters. Very good bait. Okay, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed our rather short but uh, fantastic rather informative video. Um, about William Blake, where he lived in Felton, in Sussex. Maybe you might want to come down to Felton in Sussex and come and visit it. Plenty of parking, easy to get to. Great place to stay out with the family. So please like and subscribe, share the video, and come back again next time. So for me, Lila. Well, Buddy and Merlin and my dad are off there. See you again soon. See you later. Bye.